OK, let's get some more thoughts, more reaction. This time, a politician who pushed for Manning to receive the Nobel Peace Prize, no less, uh, is Landiger MP Birgitta Johns Dittes waiting in the wings to talk to us and give us her thoughts tonight as well. OK, uh, Birgitta, thanks, uh, thanks for being with us. Why do you think Private Manning deserves a Nobel Prize? Uh, because he dared to do what uh, many other needs to do, and that is to blow the whistle on war crimes and uh, to basically bring into the comfort of our homes the horror of war and what people are going through. And I don't really think it would have mattered to him which uh, nationality was doing the crime. And I don't think... Uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased, actually, with the result uh, of his um, statement today that it is obvious that his intention was never to aid the enemy, but to uh, inform the general public in the United States and in all, all the other countries that have been involved with the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, what is really going on in our name in order to try to stop it. And uh, just from what I've heard from his statements, I've just basically been following it on Twitter. Uh, the only thought that I have in my, my mind is that this person is a hero. OK, that, they're your thoughts. I mean, he got worldwide attention on the realities of war, the human consequences for innocent civilians and the behaviour of some US troops. The question is, will the, the wider world recognise that? Will his actions ever be recognised as you'd really like them to be recognised, do you think? I think so, yeah. Uh, I really, like, I've been following his case ever since I heard about it for the first time in the news. And, you know, I, I co-produced the collateral murder video in order to make sure that that would be brought uh, to the general public because I felt uh, obliged to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, from seeing, you know, w the development of the attention to his case, uh, both in the United States and globally, uh, that has been radically changing. Uh, and I think that by him... You know, in a sense, it's a, it is a relief for me to hear him plead guilty to leaking this particular video. So I know that, you know, I, I might not be harming his case by saying that what he did was indeed what he did, because I didn't Birgitta, know. Birgitta, did you take any comfort from the fact that the Pentagon eventually did bow to pressure from human rights groups and they indeed posted over 80 unpublished rulings on Manning's trial? Do you think that was a breakthrough? Yeah, and I, I think that, uh, in general, uh, this case, just like uh, was stated earlier, uh, this case has shown us that uh, the influence and the ability of individuals to transform our world. Uh, so both Manning is one of these people and all the activists that have made sure that he would not just be forgotten in jail. And then now, finally, the mainstream media in the United States can't ignore uh, his story and what he's been going through. And I think that is very important. And, of course, it is uh, incredible to hear about that he tried to, to take this to other uh, media before he tried uh, to get it to WikiLeaks, and WikiLeaks was the only place that would actually acknowledge the significance of the documents that he was handing over. I stand again to good at John's did it. For every other time there for now, but thanks ever so much for your thoughts. Thanks for being on the programme tonight on RT. My pleasure. I hope you can see